We are seeing already, unfortunately, a drop in M&A activity compared to a record year in 2021. The first quarter of 2022 has been quite slow with a 30% reduction in volume. I think the combination of uh, inflation and rising interest rate uh, is uh, killing a bit the motivation of some of the boardroom to do any major M&A. I think the situation is going to change. I think we need to move towards a new equilibrium. Um, there will be opportunity actually for deals. In times like this, people need to stop, pause, focus on core business and divest non-core assets. So I think the activity is going to start again, but it will take a couple of months before we all take a breath and uh, absorb everything that is going on around us. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, it causes a very sobering uh, reassessment, I think, of where the opportunity is. But as you, as you sort of scan your landscape, um, is the same kind of rethink going on in the private equity sector as well as perhaps uh, in, the, in the private um, capital markets? For sure, for sure. The impact has been less severe, actually, in private equity land, because in time like this, there are opportunities as well. Uh, when you think about this vintage in terms of investing, should be a better vintage than the previous one, because valuation will come down. I think it's inevitable. Uh, it's just simple math. With interest rate goes up, the discount rate goes down, valuation will decrease. And therefore, there might be some more buying opportunity. I think what worries everyone now is inflation. And it's the impact that inflation is going to have on the performance of the businesses, on their margin, on the raw material cost, on the labor cost. But also, when you look at the consumer side of uh, less discretionary income probably being spent towards consumer entertainment, etc. So that has been... I think the main focus um, in terms of highlighting the sector, which are going to be more resilient and healthcare and tech have emerged as the winners over the last 18 months. Simona, so what you're outlining is that there's a focus on margins, the impact on inflation, but also demand. But I, I do recall a conversation I had many, many years ago, a couple of hiking cycles ago with private equity about whether they're concerned about interest rate increases. And, you know, it's quite a different environment now where we've been used to ultra low interest rates and cases, negative interest rates in parts of Europe for many, many years. Do you think private equity is more concerned now than ever before about big rate increases, particularly as we talk about 50 basis points back to back? We, we have been preparing for this. Um, we have been expecting this over the last couple of years. But remember, the last decades, no one has operated with this. So you have a generation of professionals who have never experienced something like that. The most immediate effect will be the rising cost of debt. Um, and I think this will be reflected into um, lower valuation. I think the, the, intro, the low interest rate is what has inflated a value of businesses over the last couple of years. I think we are going to move back toward a more normalized environment. So it's definitely something they will be able to cope with by just adjusting some of the risk return of their investment. 